Making a positive impact as a leader can be accomplished in many ways. One way is by recognizing the accomplishments that bring value to an organization. Today, International Women's Day, we highlight the achievements of Navy women in aviation, acknowledging that these trailblazers have made us and continue to make us a stronger and more capable service. Before drawing attention to some of the more current, notable women in aviation, it's important to recognize their forebears. In 1917, the U.S. Navy was the first military service to enlist women in fields other than nursing. One of these World War I enlisted women was Yeoman First Class Joy Bright. In World War II, she became an officer in the Navy and recommended that women be employed in aviation fields. Until 1973, when the Navy became the first military service to officially accept women as pilots, there was no one more important to women in naval aviation than Joy Bright Hancock. Bright Hancock's advocacy generated aviation forerunners like the elite group of WAVES, Women Accepted in Volunteer Emergency Services. They charted a new course in air navigation during World War II opening the doors for other women into a male-dominated branch of the service. Serving as stateside navigators, training male pilots in navigational skills, and sometimes even riding shotgun on domestic military flights, hundreds of women served in this elite group with 80 female navigators selected for further training, earning them prized gold wings as the nation's first military personnel to share non-combat flight duties with men. In addition to these aviation pioneers, I want to acknowledge some recent trailblazing peers. Barbara Allen Rainey was the first female designated a naval aviator in February 1974, and the first Navy woman to qualify as a jet pilot. Lieutenant Commander Brenda Robinson, the first black aviator to earn her gold pilot wings in June 1980. Matisse Wright, who became the first black naval flight officer in 1993, and most recently, Lieutenant Madeline Swigel, the first black female tactical jet aviator, was designated last year. Captain Rosemary Mariner was the first woman to command an operational naval aviation squadron when she led BAQ-34 during Operation Desert Storm. Lieutenant Commander Sarah Stiers, first woman in the Navy to be awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for her role in support of Operation Freedom. On the enlisted side, we have Fleet Master Chief April Velvo, one of the Navy's most accomplished Master Chiefs, was the first black female Command Master Chief of an aircraft carrier and the first black female CMC of recruit training command. Then we have Rear Admiral Sarah Joyner, designated aviator in 1991, was the first female strike fighter pilot to command a Navy fighter squadron and a carrier airway. Captain Amy Barnschmidt will make history this summer when she becomes the first woman to command an aircraft carrier this summer, 2021. This week, we repeat the words of Joy Bright Hancock, who concluded her memoir with these words. I admit to great pride in having had the privilege of being one of the leaders of an outstanding group of women. The Waves. To them, I shall always owe a debt of gratitude, for they, by their performance, loyalty, and dedication, and their pride in service, made our accomplishments possible. Show your pride and gratitude and lead well. I want to give special thanks to Dr. Gina Akers at Naval History and Heritage Command and Professor Brenda Opperman here at the War College for this outstanding piece on International Women's History Day.